<laughs> hey YouTube. Um, this should be a short video, but I'm explaining another part of Guild Wars. Uh, this part that I'm explaining is currency. And the main form of currency is gold. You get gold from killing monsters, selling items that you obtain from killing monsters. Um, that's the main currency. But once you get a uh, thousand gold, it turns into one platinum. So, just just to give you an idea, there are some things in a guild hall, such as a skill trainer, that cost 100 platinum. And it's very hard to get gold, because a level 28 monster, yes, there's level 28, even though you can only get up to level 20, level 28 monster might only drop like 100 gold coins. So, most of your gold is going to be obtained from selling items. And then, once you get platinum, that's that's higher up. But, um, then there's also this thing that they recently added called uh, Zyshen Coins. And it sounds like... Um, it sounds like some things that some games do where they have these special coins and only people that pay extra for them can get these coins and buy special stuff with it. No, actually that's not um, that's not the case. You gain Zyshen coins, copper coins, from special missions and quests. Like, I'm going to go to Zyshen Mission. Yeah, right now I already have three Zyshen Missions, so... You go and... There's Destructions, Depths, Divinity Coast, and the Wilds. And if I do those missions, then I get a special reward. And there's Zyshen Copper Coins. There's three... Um, Traders and the um, Great Temple of Balthazar. There's Tesla for Zyshen Copper Rewards, Haki, something like that, for Zyshen Silver Rewards, and Jesse Lom for Zyshen Gold Rewards. Okay, well, Copper Coins, um, you can get a Silver Zyshen Coin for 50 Copper Coins. Um, but you also have to pay 10 gold, like 50 copper coins and 10 gold for one silver Zyshen coin. You can also buy things, like simple things, like champagne popper, sparkler, bottle rocket, uh, creme brulee or something, flask of fire water, um, superior identification kit. That's actually good because it has 100 uses, but I'll get into that in some other video. A crate of fireworks. You set this off and it's a 10 minute fireworks display. But it can only be used in a guild hall. Uh, then there's different scrolls, scrolls that you can buy. Then you go to the silver rewards and for 10 silver coins you can buy one gold coin. But you also have to have 50 gold. But for... But the different silver rewards are... Uh, there's a small equipment pack that holds five equipment items, that, so you don't have to hold them in your uh, backpack, it's just only for equipment. A Zyshen Tonic Flame of Balthazar. Oh, that's really good. Uh, if you if you double-click it, it costs two silver coins and fifty gold. If you double-click it, then you gain a thousand Balthazar faction. That's for PvP and uh, gaining skills and, and that. Um, then there's a lockpick, superior salvage kit, perfect salvage kit, Zyshen summoning stone. Double click to summon a random ally of your level that lasts for 30 minutes or until slain in combat. Summoning stones can only be activated once every 60 minutes per character, and only one summoned ally from a summoning stone can be present in an instance at a time. This item can only be used in explorable areas. Passage scroll to the underworld, passage scroll to the fissure of woe. 
uh, scroll to Slayer's Insight, Berserker's Insight, Hero's Insight, uh, different books, and that those are the silver rewards. Then there's the gold rewards. There's a Zaishen Key. Um, there's a light equipment pack, which holds ten items. Um, there's a large equipment pack, which is which holds fifteen items, and a heavy equipment pack, which holds twenty items. Then there's uh, different books and an everlasting crate of fireworks. When you double click it, it makes a 10 minute fireworks display, but it has unlimited uses and it can only be used in um, a guild hall. So those are Zai Shen coins, and now you also know about gold. So see you next time, YouTube.